They're down. Move. They were waiting for us. Uncle should be close. He better be. Keep your head. We'll find him. Come on. You know how hard it is to hit someone with a throwing axe or a throwing knife? I did axe throwing. Patrol to our left. Shh. In real life. It's actually really difficult. Hold it. I'll let them pass. To actually get the axe to stick. It's like perfect like get throw it well. Easy. Easy. If they come from the ranch, they'll come this way. We should have burned it while they slept. The burning's better if they're awake for it. He's old and sick. He won't last long. Then when they come, they'll come for a corpse. He was talking about Uncle. He's alive. Mm. Come on. They've passed. Let's go. Stop. My guns look so out of place on my shoulder. These are Arthur's guns. I don't know where we magically got them. Hold up. You hear that? Yeah. Wagon. There. It's dragging someone. Is it uncle? No. Some other poor bastard. Let's follow. He might lead us to the camp. Stay with him. No! Bunch of weirdos. He's stopping. What do you see? He's picking up. The poor bastard's dead. If he's walking with the body, we must be close. Let's take him down before he gets to the rest. Take him out. I hit the other guy. That's so dumb. I think I see something. Uh huh. Yeah, that must be their camp. What do we do? Let's get up on that boulder. Take a look. <sighs> Hang in there, old man. Okay, okay. I can't see much through this mist. Can you look too? Hold on. Next to me. What do you see? Nothing yet. Oh. My God. We gotta go get him. Careful. Where are they? Where are they? I don't care. Come on. Charles. Behind you. Charles, no. Charles is gonna die there for a second.
done to you. Oh, gotta get you down. Okay, we've got some time. Let's get Uncle. Uh, you're okay, old man. I look okay. You look off. Paws back. You'll be okay. Those bastards. We got him. His lumbago is fucked up. Oh. Looks like we got here just in time. God damn it. I'll carry him. Come on, Uncle. Come on. Hey, bust out the weapon, dude. What are you doing? Got him. Quick. There's more of them. I'll cover you. Come on. Down that gully. I am a man possessed. Oh my god. Shit. Ah. Try to play so aggressive. It just comes to bite me in the ass. Here come the rest of them. Quick! I'll cover you! Come on! Down that gully! Where do you think you're coming from? Oh, bitch. No. Kill. Okay, now run. Come on. Let's go. He's got your number. Hey, easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get out of these woods. I'm getting. I'm feeling real weird. Literally, they're like, like our neighbors. They're right there. Oh, no. ah, I, can't, I can't hit my back. Over here. Almost back. Hang in there, old timer. Oh. I don't feel good. <sighs> Uncle. 
Uncle. Hey. Uh, We're here. All right. Let's get you done. Be easy. Uh, uh, I got you. I got you. Uh, uh, Come let's on. get him out there. Thank you, boys. Don't mention it. I thought I was dead. Uh, don't get all sentimental now, old man. And I really think you're dying. It's gonna be okay. A few days, you're gonna be just fine. You're a survivor. Easy, easy. Okay. He'll be fine. You think they'll be back? Maybe, but I doubt it. We must have killed most of them. Now, this is your land. Was it theirs once? I don't think so. I met a fellow said the Skinners rode down about two years ago. They're just angry men on a rampage, and we got in their way. Sort of like we used to be? <sighs> yeah. Exactly like we used to be. Maybe we should take up torture. <laughs> uh, we got Uncle singing instead of torture. We're gonna be safe here, John. Hmm? Yeah. You, your family, you all be safe. I hope so. I really do. If she ever comes back. What a mission. And they brought a doji! I'm more excited to see the doji. <laughs> Burpy. You. You're. <laughs> I. You always did have that fine way with words. You doing all right, son? Sure, Pop. Can I go see the house? Sure. Give him some time. He'll warm up. It's quite a place you got here. It's yours. Ours. I should see about that boy. Who's my new rival? Oh, that's Rufus. He's loyal, dumb, and angry, so he reminded us of you. That's your idea of a joke, miss? I guess. We're whole again. Why do I feel like the ending of this game is gonna lead up right to the beginning of Red Dead 1? We shall see. Abigail! Hey! John Marston! Proof people can change! <laughs> I don't know about that. Hey, you have to believe it, or it'll never happen. <laughs> I'm trying. So you happy? I think so. <laughs> and I did good? You did good. So... <laughs> am I forgiven? <laughs> Never. <sighs> you are a hard woman. <laughs> Ma! Pa! Come out here! Stay 
Sadie. <laughs> You're alive. John, it's... Sadie Ann. <laughs> well, how'd you know she was... We... I'm... Sorry, I you thought look I... well. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Bear bad news. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but tell me about you, darling. No, armed to the teeth like that. I'm a working woman, Abigail. I'm a bounty hunter, bodyguard. I protect the gold prospectors up in the hills. I'm thinking of starting my own transportation business. I was thinking maybe if John wanted to earn some money, my husband, uh, he ain't looking for that kind of work. I took on a lot of debt when we bought this place. And you're working for her to pay it off? Yes, sometimes I was. But I thought we said no more of that. No, you said that. What else am I going to do? I'm a goddamn man. It's legal work, Abigail. And I never got killed. It's hunting down fools for the government. Easy. Even Jack could do it. <laughs> Don't you put those stupid ideas in the boy's head. He's going to do something better than this. Like what? Writing silly stories? I'm sorry, Abigail. Really, I am. I just thought if you wanted to earn some money... How many times do I gotta bury you, John Marston? Never. You ain't never burying me. It's legal work that I can handle. There's a... There's something else. Micah? Bounty hunting is one thing, but goddamn Micah! I heard he was up country, or some fellow who sounded just like him. Killed a family, bar a little girl who escaped. Leave Micah alone. Listen, I'm sorry, Abigail. I came by because I was riding by chasing a fella, and I thought John wanted to earn some extra money. <sighs> what is it? Abigail, we need the money. Some fella robbed his business, you know, an accountant or something. Came down from Rhodes, I believe. How much does it pay? It pays good. Well, the soft ones usually do. Okay, then. I guess. But Micah? No. All right. John Marston, let's go. Just you bring him back to me. You hear? Of course. What outfit is this? This is a new one. You want to work? Let's do it. Say your goodbyes, John. We're off. One second. You want to work? Let's do it. The the horse has to be ready. Relax. Say your goodbyes, John. We're off. You are filthy. You want to work? Let's do it. And some oat cakes for the road. Okay. Let's give you another go, girl. Say your goodbyes, John. We're off. You ready? Follow me. We're going up into tall trees. Again. Hey. Please. It's nice of you to stop by and see the place. Finally. Abigail's back with the boy. You must be so pleased, John. And the ranch? You were right. It's really something. I think I'm gonna ask her to uh, marry me. I got a ring. It was... It was Arthur's. I found it in a bundle of things that I've kept. You're marrying Abigail. Or it, asking her, at least. Oh, my. I never took you for a romantic. No, me neither. But <laughs> it's something I've thought about. And I, I think I know I want it. Okay. I guess I thought you were married already. Long ago. No, not really. Not officially. Well, I'm real happy for you, Joan. Being married, it made me real happy. Wild horses. Farm could use wild horses. 
Yeah, I thought they were married. We're cutting off the main track up here. My man's in need of host. The entire time, I didn't realize they weren't. It's a new one so, for me. We're coming up on where he's been seen. This moron accountant, Marshall Thurwell, been trying to live like an outdoorsman. Camping out here. He's lucky the Skinner brothers ain't found him. Well, they might have. Up here. Wanted. Hold. Dead or alive. Must be it. Get down. Let's take a look around. Something's been here. I have learned never to leave my horse without my guns. This. This looks. Looks like a bear or something came through here. <sighs> and fella left in quite a hurry. Here. Oh, he was from the south, whoever he is. Then maybe he's our man. If he ain't become some bear's lunch. Yeah, it looks like they went this way. Him or the bear? <laughs> Both of them. It's that way, I'd say. Great. Oh. We do have the Mausers. And Midnight's Pistols. Cool. So do we get all the guns back? Is, is that what's going on here? Because we got Flacco's revolver. We get literally everything. Maybe it's like a slow, they unlock more guns as we progress through Damn the epilogue. It. I've lost the trail. Can you see which way he might have gone? This way. Okay, I think I got him. Follow me. There's a cabin up here. That him? A local farmer to me. I don't know what's left of one. That's he gone? gross. You, Marshal Thurwell? That I am, ma'am. I'm here to arrest you on behalf of the state of Lemoyne. You're wanted for theft, fraud, and avoiding arrest. Is the monster still out there? No, I think he's gone. Come out. Come on. Don't shoot. <laughs> Keep walking. <laughs> Come on, I'm coming. Look out! Bar. <laughs> We've killed this bear already. We kill it again. Oh my god. This is Leonardo Capro revenue in here. Oh, fucking monster. Thurwell! Get out of here! Before I come in there and kill you myself! I I'm coming. Pathetic. Waiting to see if that animal ate us? No, ma'am. That weren't it. Yes, it were. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Th 
sir will. Call yourself a man? Well, it's like Abigail says. That's one word for you. I can't believe we didn't kill that bastard. Gave him something to remember us by, at least. You all right, John? Yeah. Ah. Just, we always find a way to almost get killed, don't we? Mm-hmm. That's kind of the problem. Maybe it wasn't right of me to bring you along on those really heavy things. Family man and all. Seeing all this, uh, I don't know if I can do it again. I'm my own man, ain't I? I get to make those calls. I needed the money. You are your own man, sure. But I'm my own woman. And I get to say who I ride with. And I don't know if your ranch and your kid and your wife are things I want to be worrying about when I hear a gunshot. Yeah, fair enough. Those are fine new clothes, by the way. <laughs> yeah. I spend my cash on fancy clothes and horse. Who's this up here? Is that? Are you Sadie? The man, the bounty hunter. Get off the road. Look, I got great respect for you professionally, but if that's Marshall Thorwell there, uh, me and my partner would like to split the reward. For doing what? Get off the road! We were thinking you might need protection. I look like I need protection? Uh, me and my partner, we're dead set on splitting that reward. And if not, well, we said we was going to have to take all of it. Huh. <laughs> you and your partner are just children. Don't get yourselves hurt now, son. I told you she wouldn't listen. Drop him! Don't mess around, do you? Let's go. Them bastards was green. If we didn't get him, someone else would have. <laughs> Why would you ask first? <laughs> what? This is a cold business, ain't it? Yep. It does require a certain level of detachment. You ever think if it's right? No. I just see orders on the wall, and I try and fill them. And if there's other bastards after the same orders as I am, I get competitive. It's called industry. And if you ain't noticed, everyone is out there doing it. I guess they are. Uh, you said earlier you knew something about Micah. You gonna tell me what you know? Are you sure you want to hear about him? Ain't all that bad. Get your ranch enough. If I find him, I will handle it. Your bounties or transport work, that's your decision to bring me along or not. But, but Micah, that's something we, well, I, I gotta do. With or without you, Sadie. You know what I mean? Okay, okay. I know. Well, I'm hearing things. A lot of things. Still, mostly just whispers, but I'm not sure I think you might be pretty close. When you hear something real, you bring it to me. Okay, I'll bring it to you. But you think about if this is what you really want. Everything you can get, and everything you could lose. I understand all of that. Of course I do. Okay, then. I feel like we owe it to Here Arthur. Let's get him to the jailhouse. Okay, hit you. Here, put him down. Go on, get home to your wife. I'll let you know if I hear anything about Micah. You need a hand taking him in? Him? No, I'm fine. You sure? 
Yeah, I'll send your share to the bank when I get paid. Thank you. Get out. Five dollars. Is there a place for a haircut in this town? Yes, there is. Because I need a haircut. I'm still not at a point where I feel comfortable to be splurging on new clothes. Looks like I'm getting the majority of my guns back. So. There we go. It's like I'm still looking for his friend Gavin. Because if he is, I might go help him. Does not look like it. Okay, let's go back home. Jack mission to deal with.